way back in February, I got an email from people I didn't know named Tebolt and Audrey Decker. And they said that they wanted to come in and talk to me about this um, art project idea for murals in the village. So they came and we talked. They explained what their uh, Street Art for Mankind not-for-profit did, the events they have that they work against uh, child trafficking, um, and they hold events and do street art all over the world in, in various big cities. And they really wanted to have the opportunity to bring, to sort of combine their love of Larchmont with what they do through their not-for-profit. And they asked if they could come and bring their street artists here and do murals that depict um, elements or historical figures from Larchmont's history. Well, it all started in the Larchmont Library by uh, having in our hands the fabulous book of Judith Dolin Spikes. So the, the book of Judith really inspired us because uh, this is about the 300 years of history of the village and it tells you about the amazing people who built that village that was completely ahead of its time. The, 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 I mean, we wanted to count the history of, a, of, an, of an amazing past in that village, in our village actually, a past that should, we should all be proud of because we were very surprised to discover so many interesting people in that actually came through this village and through history. That kind of pattern of people thinking ahead of their times, creatives, pioneers. Uh, we think that actually this kind of walk that those murals are doing together are going to bring more people to walk, to stop, to look, and take more time to appreciate where they are. For people to understand that they, they can look at the same time as they look to the, to the past, look to the future. Those were people who were ahead of their time, abolitionists, feminists, uh, industry tycoons, uh, who were living, you know, kind of incredible lives. And it's great that we can pay a tribute at one point, think about the past. If we can inspire, I would say, even younger generations, say, you know what, why not? How about us? What do we create here?